welcome back to Whiskey Wonder Woman. In today's video, we are doing Widow Jane Lucky 13, which is located in Brooklyn, New York. Lucky 13, aged 13 years in American oak, pure limestone water from the legendary Rosendale Mines of New York. Uh, so Lucky 13 is basically a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. This is batch 32, bottle 236, and the date is 2022. So this bottle is actually two years old. I mean, the bottle, when it was bottled, is two years old. This bottle is 13 years. Well, this is what the bottle looks like. Right there it says age 13 years. And then I have to read that little small thing. I don't have my glasses on me, and I got my eyes dilated today, so it's going to be a little rough. This unique offering arises from a select group of barrels whose warehouse position has led to whiskeys of unusually rich and flavorful character, aged for a minimum of 13 years. Hand assembled in Brooklyn, non-chill filtered and proofed with our own limestone water from the legendary Rosendale Mines of New York. Lucky 13 is always a way to share good fortune. So they're basically outsourcing their barrels, then bringing them to Brooklyn and taking the limestone water from Rosendale and proofing down the barrels. And this is a blend because right in the little box right here, this is distilled in Kentucky, Tennessee. I, I it says I N, um, so I want to say Indiana, um, or it says in. I think it might be Indiana. Bottles by Widow Jane Distillery. So they're taking barrels from Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana, then blending it with their limestone water, and born is Lucky 13. So it's almost like the other, how other small distilleries um, grow their brand, like how they use, um, what is it, MMP, MGP in Indiana. They start off by using their whiskey, and then when they have enough revenue, then they go off and start their own distillery. They're taking a different approach by also outsourcing, but then they're putting their own branding and touch in it by using their or the limestone water from New York. So it's, it's still original. Um, I'll give them that. It's, it's different. And... Um, I, I, I'm never a fan of blending whiskeys from different states, um, but a lot of people do. I even barks down company. So we'll see how this is. At least we know that the minimum of every barrel that's in this bottle is 13 years old. And if you didn't know, if you're close to New York City and you're in the location close to Brooklyn, um, during the week, and I think it's only the midweek, not the weekend, they offer free small flights of their whiskeys if you stop in. Okay. Oh, that's the color. Again, this is a blend, right? So we don't know where they're outsourcing their barrels. I have no idea, but I do know that in Kentucky, a big outsource is 1792. Um, but I can't confirm. I might have to do more research to find out, but there's a possibility that we don't know. Um, in Tennessee, there's Uncle Neris, there's Jack Daniels. Um, can't think of anything else. Um, Indiana, you have, um, is it MGP, MP? I think it's MGP. Uh, so, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, lucky 13. It smells really good. There was like a blast of vanilla in my nose. It's very sweet in a fruity way. It's kind of smelling like vanilla cake. 
It's very creamy. It almost reminds me of vanilla frosting. But I do get a scent of some type of grain. I, I couldn't pick it out, but I don't think it's corn. Okay. I'd say like the biggest aroma is the vanilla. I get caramel. There is a wine smell. And maybe that's where the fruitiness is coming from. But overall, the aroma is sweet. So let's go in for the taste. Eek. <laughs> oh, let me go in for the taste again. I almost feel like the limestone water may have worked at a disadvantage because <laughs> I'm not really getting any taste other than oak and grain. And I was kind of expecting to get maybe like sweet vanilla or I don't know, fruitcake or something. But it was very, very bland. It's almost like the limestone water purified the blend. The finish, I will say, has a deep oak hint of spice. And it's a little drying. And because I said the aroma was wine-like, the finish is finishing like wine too, where it's uh, it's giving that that dry note. I really, I'm not a wine expert, so I, I don't know how to explain it. It, it, it maybe it's like sulfites or um, um, oh, what is the other one? Tannins. That probably could be the finish. But I am so disappointed in the taste right now. Um, let me do it one more time, get acclimated, and see if I'm tasting anything different. I would say in the taste, the deep oak flavor and the graininess, um, there is also a hint of smokiness, and I actually think it it's nice. It's not bitter. It's not sweet. I think it's just perfect. Um... But that's basically kind of the tasting notes. There's no real taste. It's more like maybe when the bourbon touches my tongue, the smokiness is the taste, and but then that could actually be the finish coming in right away. Um, so I'm not going crazy. I'm just gonna check the website if to see if they have um, the tasting notes of this bottle. These barrels have all been influenced by the greatly varying temperatures and humidity levels of their original source, outsource, and their time in our Rick House in Red Hook, Brooklyn. The different Rick House positions combined with the climate, yeah, we all know that, okay. Um, age for a minimum of 13 years, non-chill filtered and proofed with our own limestone mineral water from Legendary Rosendale Mines of New York, Lucky 13. Okay, tasting notes. Aroma, vanilla bean. I definitely got that. Earl Grey tea. Hmm. I didn't, let me see. Yeah, I'm not getting it. It's more fruitier for me than Earl Grey tea, but I could see how it's a nice balance in the aroma. I definitely got the caramel, and the last one is sweet tobacco. Oh, interesting. Okay, 
I can agree with that. I definitely can have a scent of tobacco in there, but it's sweet tobacco. Sweet, so. Taste, pecan pie, absolutely not. I did not get that at all. Whole grain toast. I did get the grain part and grapefruit peel. Grapefruit peel. Okay. I never liked grapefruit, but I definitely do get that bitter taste from grapefruit. And that's why it's saying grapefruit peel. <laughs> so technically they're saying it's bitter and they put a nice word of grapefruit in it. The pecan pie though, I am definitely not getting that. That should be like the main taste. Yeah, no. I'm not getting pecan pie. Finish, nutmeg. Um, I'm not really getting nutmeg either. Birch beer. I don't drink beer, so I wouldn't know. But maybe the graininess, yes. Dry oak tannin. Oh, okay. So I definitely did say there is a oak finish, and I mentioned the wine tannins. So I kind of hit most of the notes, except the pecan pie. I think that note fell really short in this bourbon. And maybe that's because of the limes, the limestone water. I'm not getting any nuttiness notes in this bottle. Um, I'm not sure if this bottle is allocated or not. I think I have seen it on the shelf. Um, but I think this bottle did come from a Virginia drop. And I think it's about a hundred bucks. Um, but yeah, that's my review on Widow Jane Lucky 13. Uh, overall, I respect their process, their story, um, where they're getting their limestone water because as you know, in Kentucky, limestone water is what makes bourbon their bourbon. Um, but I think Lucky 13 here fell short on the tasting notes. Um, and I think this blend should have been way better than what was presented in this bottle. If I'm getting 13 year old barrels, it better taste like it's 13 years old. And maybe it was, but their limestone water, I don't know if it purified it or I, the proof is really low. So maybe if the proof was higher, I would get those pecan pie notes, the nutmeg, the fruitcake notes. Um, maybe what they could do is get even older bourbon barrels then use their limestone water or maybe i don't know it's their brand it's what they want to do i do respect what they're doing um I, I will definitely visit their distillery when i go down to um go up to new york city let me know what you think let me know if you have this bottle let me know if you have any other of the widow jane products i'm just curious to know if there's other bottles i should be looking out for all right see you in the next video bye